training is really important because it gives everyone the the standards. It sets the the goal line that we we need to to meet as a board um, with uh, different qualifications, you know, so that we can um, we can manage the affairs of the institution that we that we represent and do so across a level playing field. All members of the board should be able to to make independent decisions. So even though your background, for example, may not necessarily be accounting, it might be HR, you can look at the financial sheets of the organization and have some sort of general understanding. This particular training focuses on three main areas, uh, that of uh, finance, financial management. It focuses on governance. It also focuses on, on risk management and strategy. You know, and I think those are key core competencies that that everybody should have some general idea on so that when the board meets and makes decisions, it, it, it does on a level playing field for all and so that we can we can guide the direction of the organization that we, we represent and do so effectively. It allows me to 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 better represent, to to better assist, to to better the decision process um, in you know within the within the, the, the organization. Uh, so you know for me, you know, I, I, I hope to to grow within the organization. Um, I hope to leave the organization in a better position than, than, than where I met it. And at the same point in time as an individual, I myself should have should have left the organization being a better individual, a stronger individual, a more competent individual because of this training. Being a director, you know, um, we volunteered for this, um, but there's an opportunity to, to receive training from an accredited facility, you know, so you can actually leave the the organization being an accredited director, you know, trained to, to also serve on other boards after having completed this training. So I want to encourage all directors to make use of this opportunity. And if for whatever reason you're, you're not unable to, to do so during this particular cohort, you can, you know, on your own also, uh, you know, sign on for the program through the, the, the Canadian Institute and get your, your accreditation.